Good morning, second grade students. I have a secret for you and for Maria. Today, we are going to review what we learned last week. This way, you are going to practice more. See you next week. Bye. I can't see a bird. I can't see a lion. What animals can I see in the forest? Good morning, second grade students from all over Costa Rica. Welcome to Learning at Home. Bienvenidas y bienvenidos a Aprendo en Casa. It's me, Teacher Graven. I'm so glad to see you. Um, I'm so glad to see you today. Uh, we were supposed to have a new classmate, but where is it? Oh, it's right here. Take a look, we have a new classmate today. Hello, little birdie, what is your name? My name is Maria. Oh, Mary, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We're so glad to have you here. I have a question for you, Mary. What day is today? Well, today is Friday. Oh, and how do you feel? I feel wonderful. Very good, Maria. Now, are you ready to explore, learn, and have lots of fun? Well, this is the right place to be. And hello, David, how are you? <laughs> Excellent, thanks for helping us. Um, I have a question. Did you wash your hands? Dania, Emanuel, Paulina, Jorge, Maripaz, did you wash your hands? No? Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds, so please go and wash your hands. Meanwhile, today we are going to look and listen to some videos from YouTube in order to learn English. Those videos are used only for educational purposes. El día de hoy observaremos y escucharemos algunos videos y canciones de YouTube Simplemente para ilustrar lo que estamos aprendiendo en inglés y se utilizarán exclusivamente con fines educativos. ¿Ok? Ah, I have another question for you. Do you have your pencil ready and your notebook ready? Yes? Ok. And today we are in a forest. Look. Let's see what we can find. Wow. We can see many animals. Do you want to see? Maria? Wow, you can see many animals in here. Yes, lots of animals. And what about if we have a video from UNICEF? So pay attention to this video and see what animals can you find in the video. Ready? Hello, Paola. How are you? Today, I have a story for you about different animals and habitats. We are going to have a virtual field trip. Look, there is a monkey. Where do monkeys live? Monkeys live in the forest and mountain habitats. The monkeys like to jump on the trees. Let's see other animals that live in the forest. Shh, shh, be quiet. What is this animal? It's a squirrel. What do squirrels eat? The squirrels like nuts and fruits. Wow! Let's explore what animals live in the water. I see a fish. What color is the fish? It's yellow and blue. But wait, what is this animal? It's a frog. The frog is green. 
And now I see a long animal. What is this animal? It's a snake. I don't like snakes. The birds and butterflies are beautiful, but not the ants. Mm -mm. I have a question for you. What is a habitat? It's a place or home where animals can live. Very good. So for now, goodbye and see you next week with another story. Thank you very much, Paola. What a great video. Do you remember what animals could you see in the video? Hmm? Yes? Okay. What about you, Maria? Do you remember what animals? Yes, there was a snake. Mm, a squirrel. Mm, I don't remember the other ones. Okay. And you're forgetting something. Oh, yes. I would like to invite the whole family to, to please come here and join us. So please, everybody come here and watch this program. Now, did you identify the characteristics of some animals? Yes. For instance, where do animals live? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the name of some animals? Are they living things like Maria? or non-living things? Mm, I don't know. Well, don't worry. We are going to learn about that. But first, we are going to have a presentation in order to, to review some main characteristics of living things and non-living things. So let's take a look at this presentation, okay? Let's see. Remember, living things need air. Non-living things do not need air. Living things need food. Non-living things do not need food. Living things need water. And non-living things do not need water. Living things eat, just like me. Yes, and non-living things don't eat. Living things breathe, and non-living things don't breathe. Living things move, and non-living things don't move. Living things reproduce, and non-living things don't reproduce. Living things feel, and non-living things don't feel. Some living things, like fish, live in water. And some living things live in the forest. Yes, very good, Mary. Some living things live on land. And great job, okay? Good job, amazing. Now, do you remember what we learned last week? Yes, okay. Now, remember, living things eat, need air and water. <gasps> That's right, I need some water. Okay, and what are we going to learn today? That's a very good question. So let's see our lesson goals for today. Okay, these are our lesson goals. Today we are going to recognize specific information about animals and their habitats. We are going to respond in a predictable pattern to simple questions, and we are going to imitate each sound of letters of the alphabet, especially letter U. Hoy vamos a reconocer información específica sobre animales y sus hábitats. Vamos a responder a preguntas simples y vamos a imitar el sonido de alguna letra del alfabeto, específicamente la letra U. ¿Ok? La letra U. And we have the self-regulation riddle. Recuerden que este acertijo, ustedes le pueden preguntar a sus profesoras o profesores de inglés, sus familiares, amigos o amigas. Pueden enviarse mensajes de texto. You can ask your teachers, your, your family, and your friends. You can even send messages. Okay, the riddle goes like this. 
I am a living thing and live on a tree. I fly in the sky. I need water and food. What am I? And we will have the answer at the end of the class. That's a very easy riddle. Yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> okay, can you mention some characteristics of living things? Well, let's see. Mm, I don't remember. And for instance, where do animals live? Well, I know I live on a tree. Yes, you live on a tree, but what about those animals that we are looking? What about that animal there? Or that one over there? Well, I would like to learn about that. Okay, vamos a aprender donde viven los animales. So, let's take a look at this presentation about animal habitats, okay? Where do animals live? Some animals, like forest animals and insects, live in different places. For instance, the squirrel lives in a tree. Entonces la ardilla vive como igual a mí en un árbol. That is right, Mary. The snake lives in the forest. I don't like snakes. The fish lives in water. Mmm, I like fish. <laughs> the monkey lives on a tree. Oh, the monkey lives on a tree just like me. Very good, Mary. The butterfly lives in the park. And the ladybug lives in the garden. Okay, lives in the garden. <gasps> That's interesting. There are many habitats. Correct. And what about if we have a video? I love videos. Okay, so pay attention to where animals live. Okay, here we go. Let's watch this video. Animals' habitats. Forest. Tigers live in a forest. Bears live in a forest. Gorillas live in a forest. Savannah. Lions live in a savanna. Zebras live in a savanna. Giraffes live in a savanna. Ice. Polar bears live on ice in the Arctic. Penguins live on ice in Antarctica. House. Cats live in a house. Dogs live in a house. Birds live in a house. Sea. Fish live in the sea. Starfish live in the sea. Crabs live in the sea. Ocean. Whales live in the ocean. Sharks live in the ocean. Octopuses live in the ocean. Farm. Wow, animals live in different places, right, Mary? Mary, what are you doing? I'm taking notes. You're taking notes? Estás anotando? What for? Because I want to know where animals live. Ah, quieres aprender donde viven los animales. Por eso estás apuntando. Oh, you're very clever. Yes, I want to know where they live because I want to visit them. Quieres ir a visitarles? Okay, no problem. But I have some questions for you. For instance, where do dogs live? ¿Dónde viven los perros? Yes. Where do birds live? Where do fish live? 
I want to answer that. Okay, so let's have this presentation in order to learn where animals live. Okay, here we go. Let's have these presentations. So where do animals live? So we have a forest, we have the water, tree, a nest, and a park. And we have a fish, a bird, just like me. Yes, igual a ti, Maria. A um, snake, a monkey, and a butterfly. Now, I'm going to ask you, what animal lives in the forest? Mm, let me see. What about the snake? Okay, let's see the answer. Correct. <laughs> now, what animal lives in water? Mm, very easy. The fish. Yes. Now, what animal lives in a tree? Mm, the monkey. Yes. What animal lives in in a nest, the bird, correct. And the most difficult question, la pregunta más difícil de todas. What animal or what insect lives in the park? The butterfly or the butterfly? <gasps> Easy, the butterfly, correct, the butterfly. Okay, and we have another matching. Okay, let's see. Where do snakes live? ¿Dónde vive la serpiente? Let's see. Mm, in the forest. Correct. Where do the butterfly live? Mm, in the park. Yes. Where do the bird live? In the nest. Uh-huh. And where do fish live? In water. Correct. Good job. Well done. <laughs> now, I have some questions for you, Mary. Hay unas preguntas para ti, María. Where does the butterfly live? The butterfly lives in the park. Correct. Where do ladybugs live? Ladybugs live mm, in the garden. Yes. Where do spiders live? Spiders live mm, in the garden. Yes. Where do fish live? Fish live in water. Correct. And where do monkeys live? Mm, monkeys live mm, on a tree. Correct. Now, I have some questions for you, more questions. Here we have a picture. Observemos este dibujito, porque les vamos a hacer unas preguntas a ustedes en casa. Ustedes van a seleccionar su animal favorito, ¿ok? Y vamos a responder varias preguntas. Por ejemplo, what animal is this? What color is this animal? Is the animal big or little? What are his or, or her characteristics or its characteristics? And where does it live? Vamos a preguntar, ¿cuál animal es? ¿De qué color es? Si el animal es grande o pequeño. ¿Cuáles son sus características o a dónde vive? Okay? And I have an example for you. I want to read it. It's okay. Está bien, María. Lo puedes leer. It is a monkey. The monkey is brown. The monkey is little. Mm, it has fur and a tail. It jumps. It likes to eat fruit, especially bananas. And it lives in the forest or in a tree. Very good. Excellent job, Maria. Very good. Amazing. Now, I want, to, I want you to do it with your favorite animal. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. But I don't know how to do it. I need help. Okay, calm down, Maria. Calm down. What can we do to help Maria? Do you want to help Maria? Yes? Mm, what can we do? Mm, let me see. Mm. I know what to do. What about if we have a special guest? A special guest, yes! I have a friend. His name is Juan Pablo Garro Vargas. And uh, he sent a video about his favorite animal. So pay attention to his favorite animal and the characteristics of his favorite animal. Ready? Good morning, Juan Pablo. The bird is red. The bird is little. 
The bear has feathers and a beak. It flies. It likes to eat fruit, seeds, and insects. The bear lives in a nest. Now I have some questions for you. Can you describe an animal? What reason? What are some of its characteristics? Where does it live? Thank you, teacher. Great in class, mate. Bye. Thank you, Juan Pablo Garro Vargas. What a wonderful video. And thank your family, too, for all your help. You did a wonderful job. So, Maria, did, did you pay attention? What are you doing, Maria? I was taking notes. Oh, <laughs> you are a very good student, Maria. You were uh, writing the answers. Yes. Oh, estabas escribiendo las respuestas. Good. Okay, I have some questions. What? animal did Juan Pablo describe? It was describing someone like me, a bird. Yes, Maria. What color was the bird? <gasps> I didn't write that. Let me check the answers. <laughs> I think it was red. Yes. Uh, what kind of characteristics did the bird have? <gasps> it has feathers. It lives on a nest. Mm -hmm. What kind of food? did the bird eat? Uh, fruits mm, and insects. Yes. And where does the bird live? <gasps> it lives in, in a nest. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Now, what is that? Oh, do you know what time it is? No. It's letters and sounds time. So, Today, we are going to learn a very special sound, which is... <gasps> is that letter U? Yes, it's letter U. U? No, not me. Letter U. <gasps> you or me? No, letter U. It's confusing. I know. Okay, we are going to watch a video, a song about letter U. Pay attention to the words that have letter U. Ready? Here we go. Can you make the letter sounds? We can show you how. What letter shall we learn? Let's find out now. Let's learn about hmm, the letter U. This is a capital U This is a lowercase U You know how the U looks now Let's make the letter U sound What a great song. Did you like it? Yes? Cool. Now, what about if we have a practice about letter U? Okay, here we go. We have a presentation. Okay, so today we're learning, remember letter U. For example, unicorn, and you have to repeat at home. Unicorn, correct. What about the next one? <gasps> Umbrella, yes. And the other one, <gasps> what is that? Teacher Graving, it's underwear, but don't worry, it's just the pictures. Are they, are those yours? No, they are not mine. But you have to repeat underwear. Underwear. Okay, Maria, we have three pictures. We have a monkey and an unicorn. What word begins with letter U? Mm, let me see. Mm, I think. The unicorn, correct, the unicorn. 
Good job, Maria. Well done. Did you get the word at home? Yes? Good. Now, I'm wondering, how many stars did you get today? Let's see how many stars. Okay. <gasps> today we don't have stars. We have suns. Can you count them? Las puedes contar, Maria? One sun, two suns, three suns. Yes, you got three suns today. Good. And what about the answer for the riddle? <gasps> Yo quiero saber la respuesta. Remember, I am a living thing and live on a tree. I fly in the sky. I need water and food. What am I? Mm, let's see. A bird. Yes. Let's see the answer. Correct. I am a bird. Just like you, Maria. Very good. Now, remember to see you next week at 8.30 on Channel 4. I am Teacher Graven and I am Maria. And don't forget to wash your hands. Remember to practice and to take notes. Okay? Wear a face mask as well, okay? So, hope to see you next week, and thank you very much for paying attention. You are great students. Now, as the song that you are listening says, bye-bye, butterfly, see you later, alligator. So, Maria, what did you learn today? Well, I learned that um, fish live in water. Mm -hmm, that is correct. Monkeys live on a tree. Okay, good job. See you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.